Welcome to the installation video for a typical direct drive blower motor. After troubleshooting the system and diagnosing the motor needs to be replaced, begin by turning the system power off. With the system power off, disconnect the motor leads, making note of their locations on the control board. Taking pictures with your phone can also prove helpful. Also record the location of the motor in the bracket before its removal. Remove the blower housing to access the motor. Loosen the set screw on the blower wheel and remove the screws holding the motor to the blower housing. If the mounting bracket is removable, inspect it for damage and replace if required. Verify the motor specifications on the new motor are the same as the original. Mount the new motor in the bracket in the same position as the old motor and attach to the blower wheel. Remove and replace the old capacitor with a new capacitor rated for the correct microfarads for the new motor. This information can be found on the motor nameplate or the box. Verify your direction of rotation is correct. If reversing is required, simply change the connection on the reversing leads. Reinstall the blower housing and reconnect the wiring to the control board. If you are using an OEM direct replacement, simply connect the lead wires to the same location and colors as the failed motor. Aftermarket motors will typically have two or more speed lead selections. The installer will need to select the speed lead which supplies the CFM or airflow to match the original motor for both heat and cool. Refer to your notes and pictures of the original wiring to help with your speed selections. Now connect the brown and the brown with the white stripe from the new motor to the new capacitor. The white lead goes to the neutral common terminal on the control board. If your control board has a fan location, this will be the place for your lowest speed. With the new motor installed, start the system and verify the temperature deltas meet the original manufacturer's specifications and the amp draw is plus or minus 10% of the motor nameplated value. You can find this and other installation videos at usmotors.com slash installation videos.